here. So I'm going to do a little uh, update video for you guys. Uh, you guys seen them when we were planting and rolling the fields. I want to show you the beans, uh, the progress and how they're doing right now. Um, we're actually uh, spraying the fields today uh, with Roundup to kill out all the weeds. So we got the sprayer, we got the New Holland tractor out here. It's a 95 horse and the sprayer is a 540 gallon uh, liter uh, sprayer. So I'm going to show you guys the process of uh, how we do this and how we set it up. I got my brother Josh out with the drone, so we'll get some drone footage and uh, show you the, there's uh, 200 acres of beans out here. And it's, uh, field's looking great. It's really green, it's really flush. I think we're gonna get a really good yield this year. We're getting rain about almost every other night, at night, so everything's getting soaked down really well. There's a lot of moisture in the ground. So we're getting a really good crop this year here in Ontario, Canada. So I'm gonna show you guys this whole process. I hope you guys like it. Just a little update, guys. So my, my dad's actually driving the tractor today, so he's gonna start uh, showing you how it all unfolds here, guys. Get it all unfolded. So he's spraying Roundup. Roundup is, uh, these beans are Roundup ready. So this spray, when it's sprayed on the beans, it doesn't kill them, it only kills weeds. Um, so they've been genetically altered. When you hear like GMO, it's been genetically altered. So it's, uh, it's resistant to Roundup, but all the weeds aren't, so they all get killed out. So you get, end up getting better yields, because you need to, for this world to, to feed, you need lots of food. So there he goes, he's in the New Holland 95 uh, horse, uh, 95 horse uh, Nash Creek New Holland. So that's the sprayer, guys. So he's gonna have to spray in about 200 acres here. It's gonna probably take about maybe an hour and a half. Uh, my brother, he's got his drone up right now, so we'll get some good drone footage. So there's the beans, guys. You see how nice the rows are? There's not that many weeds actually right now. You end up spraying them out, you really get to kill them out, so it's really good. So there he goes, he's heading down the heading down the field there right now, spraying away. And if you notice, there's like a white foam. The white foam is your markers. So you know to start your next row to spray, so you don't keep over spraying. If you over spray, you waste a lot of money. So there's the got the got the Nash Creek Farm drone up there right now. So we'll just wait for my dad to come back. So with these soybeans, these soybeans are used pretty much for everything. They're, you know, they're filler and products. Uh, you got your tofu, you know, made out of soy. So you need a lot of soy in this world to feed the world and all their products. It's like with corn as well. A lot of corn goes to, you know, to the ethanol plants now. So they actually had to slow down the ethanol because there wasn't enough corn being produced to, you know, sustain the whole world. Because you know, it's in everything, cell phones, all kinds of plastics. So it's all biodegradable. It's in everything, right? Corn dogs, everything. So. He's almost on his way back here again, so we'll see another pass. See, I'll show you guys the foam. The foam is the marker, so you don't overspray. When you overspray, you, you, you know, you waste money. And in, in the farming business, you do not want to waste money. You want to make money. I've got the drone here above my head. Let's take a look at it. He's just flying around up there. So this property, this 200 acres, it's probably been in our family about 80 some years. Uh, we end up getting it uh, from our uncle. Uh, so we end up, this is our second year growing uh, soybeans in our field here. Um, it's good to change it up, like it's good if you plant soybeans one year and plant corn the next because uh, you don't want to get a disease in the ground that can actually kill your crops. So we end up, we, we planted the soybeans twice. Um, everything's turned out really well for us. It looks like we're going to have a good yield. Um, been lots of moisture, great, uh, great conditions for growing. So my father here, he's almost uh, coming back here again. So let's, uh, let's check See out the this nice process. Rose here pretty straight my brother Josh he planted this field so he did a good job it's all planted getting really good you guys can see how high high the soybeans are so there's the foam that's a foam marker so that means you won't over spray right there so here comes my father there now so you guys can see the spray and roundup 
I'm upwind from it so I don't get sprayed myself. So I'm going to have some drone footage of you guys so you guys can see the full uh, 200 acres here with the uh, bush as well. You guys can see these broad, uh, broad leaf. You see these yellow weeds? These are the weeds we're trying to kill. You see if you guys see them, we call them like mustard weed, yellow weed. Um, when, you're, when your uh, plant is just starting out, you want to make sure all your weeds are gone because uh, they end up, they'll choke out the, the plant that you're trying to grow, like the soybean. And you know, soybean seed is very expensive. A lot of the seed that we get comes from Brazil and we plant it here in Canada. So we want to make sure we have a good yield to pay for our seed. So that's some of the weeds right there, guys. Some of the yellow weed, uh, mustard uh, weed that we do not want growing in our fields. Um, we want to make sure we have the best yields possible, especially when the prices are, try you know, when they're high. You know, $430 a ton, you're going to do all right. But and it depends on two. When the states are having a bad drought up in Canada here, we get better prices. Um, if you guys down in the states are doing really well, our prices here in Canada, they, they go down. Our, uh, like our stocks for, uh, for growing crops determines from the American side how we do here in Canada, our prices that we get. So if you guys yield a lot of corn or a lot of soybeans, uh, we actually, we make less money compared to if you guys do really bad, I know it's bad to say, but if when you guys do really bad in the States, you know, you guys are mudding all your uh, crops in or you guys are having a drought, that means that we get better prices up here in Canada. So that's, that's the way it works back and forth, right? So my father will be doing one more pass, so we'll check it out one more time, then we'll get up close and uh, personal with the, with the sprayer and the tractor, and uh, we'll check her out. Go check the drone out. My brother Josh has got his drone over here. He landed her. Let's go check her out. Where is it? There it is. Daughter, thanks for flying today, Josh. Yeah, no problem. 14 minutes. Let's check her out. What's that? So she ran about 14 minutes, eh? Yeah. I think it's uh, it's about about right. Yeah, about 15, eh? About 15. It's pretty good. Definitely. Yeah. I like your shirt. <laughs> thanks. Right now he's gonna unfold it. Is it just setting up to unfold? It's like a transformer. So he's going to start up the sprayer right now. Here we go. Spraying. So you can see it, it'll drop foam on the ends. See it? So the foam is the markers. See there, it just dropped one.
That's a Canadian mosquito. It's huge. It's huge. Look at, look at my baby pinky. Where's my baby pinky? My baby pinky compared to it. It's huge. A couple of old style barns, you know, they were like almost, they're over 80 some years old. They're still here on the farm. They're nice to have. There's old antiques, you know, the old antique barn boards on there. You can't get those anymore. So they're pretty nice to have. There's three here. There used to be a farm, or used to be a farmhouse here as well. Up on the hill right there, the old farmhouse. Used to be from uh, relatives back in the day. Used to be, uh, used to be there at one time, but it got tore down. All right, guys. So that was a little update today on the uh, spraying the beans. Just wanted to show you guys how they're doing after we rolled and we planted them there, so you guys could see what's going on. So you guys can see all the all the acreage out behind there, all the way around. So you guys can see that everything's doing really well. So I hope you guys uh, maybe you learned a little something today. Up here is in Ontario, Canada. I'm glad you guys uh, tuned in. You know, thanks for watching uh, Farm Boy Reef. Uh, and, uh, we'll do some more farm videos really soon. Um, soon we'll be taking off the, the harvest there when it comes time. We'll do a little driving in the combine action and show you guys what's going on. So thanks for watching guys. I um, hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, who knows what video I'm going to have out next guys. Thanks. Bye.